The closed mouth approach to mandibular anesthesia, otherwise known as the tuberosity or akinosi technique, uses the cleft between the ramus and the maxilla in order to access the pterygomandibular space. Although the target for injection is not well identified, there being no bony contact to indicate a proper insertion depth, the needle ends up in the pterygomandibular space somewhat superior and medial to the standard inferior alveolar nerve block. The extent of intraoral anesthesia is similar to that of the Gal Gates block. With the patient's head adjusted to facilitate visualization of the retromolar region, the cheek is retracted with the thumb to expose the insertion point midway between the ramus and the maxilla at the height of the mucogingival junction of the maxillary molars. With the syringe parallel to the occlusal plane, the needle is inserted posteriorly through the mucosa and buccinator muscle and into the pterygomandibular space. As the needle is slowly advanced to its ultimate depth of 2.5 centimeters, a few drops of anesthetic can be administered to reduce discomfort during insertion. After a negative aspiration is obtained, the entire cartridge is slowly injected. Although the closed mouth technique is essentially a blind injection, it is technically easy to learn and of great advantage in the patient with limited jaw opening. It is also perceived by some patients as less stressful than the standard inferior alveolar nerve block, yet comparable in onset time and anesthetic efficacy. When failure does occur, it is usually caused by the needle being angled too medially. The maxillary mucosa is sensitive to abrasion by the syringe as it is advanced posteriorly. In response, the patient may move to avoid the stimulation or the clinician may adjust the syringe to improve patient comfort. In either case, lateral rotation of the syringe automatically forces the needle medially. A possible answer to this problem is to bend the needle approximately 15 degrees at the hub. Then the syringe can be kept off the mucosa as the needle is advanced posteriorly.